Hello and welcome brethren from all over the nations tune in to the Rhapsody of Realities. Today we bring you an extraordinary article by Pastor Chris Oyaki Lome entitled We Win Only and Always. Praise the Lord. Reading the opening verse from Romans chapter 5 verse 17, it writes, For they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Blessed be God. The life we have in Christ is one of absolute mastery and dominion over circumstances. We win only and always. It makes no difference what is happening around you. Maintain the mindset of a victor. Jesus said, All things are possible to him that believes. That is you. This is the testimony of Jesus concerning you. That simply makes you a superman in Christ. You have what it takes to fix any problem and help others out of trouble. That is part of the essence of being filled with the Spirit and having the Word of God in your heart and in your mouth. You become unshakable. Glory to God. God doesn't want you to live as a victim of life or circumstances. He has placed you in charge and in control. He wants you to use the Word of God to keep Satan in subjection. He wants you to use the Word to keep your body in health and keep yourself in prosperity. He wants you to discipline every situation with the Word of God. God knows that as long as you are in your physical body, you're going to face crisis in life. You're going to contend with forces of darkness, but they are not a factor because he says in 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, Ye are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah! You were born a victor. Let that be the standpoint from which you view life. You are more than a conqueror. You are the blessed of God. You have been adequately furnished with every good and necessary thing you require for life and godliness. And you can see this in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. So stand up tall in Christ. You can never be disadvantaged. It is victory for you all the way, in all things and in every place. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 declares, Now thanks be unto God which always causeth us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. Hallelujah! You ought to cultivate this mentality as a victor. You are not born with it. Therefore, train yourself to think, reason, and act accordingly to the Word. Condition yourself to only see from God's perspective. Hallelujah! Right where you are, you may affirm this confession as you repeat after me. I exercise my authority in Christ over all power, strategies, and manipulations of the adversary and I am eternally triumphant I am in charge always I've overcome the world and its systems its troubles and temptations because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world Hallelujah. Here are scripture references given by our man of God for you to study further concerning the article you just read today in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57, John chapter 16 verse 33, and 1 John chapter 4 verse 4. Blessed be God. I'm sure you are enlightened by this message you just heard and what is necessary for you is to meditate on these things and begin to live them out. The life of a champion is the life that God has given us to live. Hallelujah! Be sure you subscribe and share this channel to your friends, family members, loved ones and even those whom you just met and let them know they can reign in life as a king all the time. By doing this, you are partnering with us to get this gospel to reach the unreached. Get your own copy of this daily devotional when you click on the link in our description. And if you like this video, give it a like to let others know you thought it was worth hearing. Join us again tomorrow for more and continue to conquer life's circumstances with the word. Praise the Lord! We trust. 
you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.